I've been chewed up, spit out, stepped on, but I will not be defeated. Since me and Renee have been in business, which isn't long, it's a little over three years now, uh, this is the worst season we've had so far. Usually the lawns do burn out, but not this bad. We have not had a good rainstorm in well over, I'd say two months. Uh, we've had, had, we've had some rain. We have had some rain, but not enough to really penetrate the soil and, and, uh, and you know, bring the lawns back. It's just been short bursts of rain, nothing special. What we really desperately need is like two full days of strong rain. Nothing but rain, just dumping buckets of rain to keep these lawns alive at this point. Um, they've gone so long without water, I think a lot of them aren't coming back. I think they're dead. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think they're dead. So some of you guys have asked me, well, don't you have customers with irrigation? And the answer to that is yes, I do. But you can't turn it on. There's water bands. They don't let you turn it on. And if you turn the, if you turn it on and get caught, you get a huge fine. So, <laughs> irrigation or not, your lawn's fried. Um, I'm on a well at my house, so it doesn't really affect me that much. But guys, I've been pumping water at my lawn every single day, and it's still burnt out. It's crazy. Just the heat. The stale, dry heat is just mutilating our fescue lawns. Um, so, you know, I've pretty much got it in my mind that we're in survival mode. You know, we're not broke. We're not rich. Um, you know, we're okay, but we got to keep the money coming in because you only have so long to make money. You know, the season goes by quick, and you got to prepare for winter because you're not gonna, you're not really going to have any money coming in in the winter. Um, unless you're plowing and stuff. So, you know, we've hunkered down. I'm scoping out work. We do have some jobs that we have to get done, which is good. But I'm going to keep it coming, you know. I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let Mother Nature defeat me. And that's the way you got to think, guys, if you want to make it in business. This is no walk in the park. You know, I've seen a lot of things online where people say, oh, just start a landscape business make a lot of money blah 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 well yeah that is true to a point but you can also lose a lot of money too you know this is hard work business is tough a lot of hours you know when you're self-employed the only person who cares about you is you you know you're not punching the time clock every day working for someone else you know if you don't put in the effort you're not going to reap the, the benefits so <clears throat> I just wanted to share that with you guys. There's a lot of guys online on all the forums I'm following that are saying the same thing. You know, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I'm just being real with everybody. This is a tough time. This is very tough. We've got a massive heat wave here in Massachusetts, and it's running rampant. It's running rampant pretty much everywhere. So I hope that if any of you guys are in the same boat as me and Renee, that, uh, you know, Mother Nature hears our prayers and sends some rain your way and and get you back going again and I hope we do get rain as well but for right now we're just gonna we're gonna take any job that we can basically and just try to keep that money coming in because if you don't you're gonna sink you know we, we got to keep our head above water good morning guys Brandon with Brent Sloan Care thanks for tuning in for another video today we're doing some trimming trimming up these shrubs here uh, we just blow it all down. See, this is why it's important to blow it all down. See all the scraggly sticking up. I'm going to go over this again for the final pass. But I got the shape going the way I want them. This particular customer likes things to look natural, okay? He doesn't want it super sharp, looking fake. Uh, so we're going to keep the natural look going on. 
Uh, so they're not going to be perfect, but they're going to look good. They're going to look symmetrical. And that's what we want. We want symmetry. I tell you guys that all the time. You want symmetry whenever you're doing stuff that's landscaping related. So I got these three here to do. And then we got some more in front of the house. And then four more in back of the house. So let's finish these up. So there's the two hedges in the front that we trimmed. I would realistically like to trim everything, but the customer does not want to do that right now. Maybe, maybe they'll come around to it when they come home today and see the, the hedges trimmed up. But there's the natural look that they were looking for on the hedges. They don't like them super sharp with, to the point where they look fake. They like them to look natural. So I did my best to make them look as natural as I could. I am really hoping that they let me trim these eventually because there's no symmetry here. Uh, these look, the hedges look nice, but these need to be trimmed up bad, so. And then, of course, I wouldn't mind trimming all this up too, but. Let's head to the backyard and bang out those hedges. Alright, so here's these bad boys right here. They like these in a, trimmed up in a ball shape, so that's exactly what we're going to do. You can kind of see the shape that I had when I trimmed them last year. I'm going to try to replicate it this year. Again, going for the natural look. everybody tuning in and all the positive feedback you've been giving us it inspires me to keep on making videos for you guys if you have any questions or comments please drop them in the comment section below we'd love to hear from you as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video